Hello Virgos. You know, a lot of the times we are dealing with like um, those really awkward questions that needs to be asked up front when we're dealing with anybody on an interpersonal level. And this is kind of like prying the answer out of the lion's mouth, okay? So there are these uncomfortable questions or uncomfortable discussions that need to be had with you and another person. I feel that some it's somebody that you are emotionally invested in. It could also be something new that is coming into your life, somebody who's kind of like wild and unruly possibly even unstructured and somewhat of a destabilizing energy that you're not completely comfortable with in your life. So what I am sensing here is, is it is actually very important for you to have those discussions up front so that you know where you stand with one another. So this is kind of like the merger between the human and the beast. So you're dealing with someone who's very, very different from you. And I felt like this energy was there even you know for the weekly reading. You're dealing with somebody who's almost like a different species just because you are so different in your values, in your philosophical outlook, in your beliefs, in your cultural background. So that's something I'm sensing in uh, very early, okay? So like it's like prying answers, getting straight answers from the lion's mouth, but doing it in a very uh, diplomatic and also in a... Um, not in an overtly forceful way okay so diplomacy is going to go get you a long way for this month okay so be careful about that and i believe this one yeah this one came out first the ten of wands king of swords reverse interesting so the ten of wands indicates you know um oh so, sorry, I got distracted. So, Ten of Wands is um, basically, you know, taking on a lot of responsibilities. But in this situation, what I am sensing is somebody's got their wall up, okay? Someone is like kind of like hiding behind their responsibilities, either using, you know, responsibilities to like work responsibilities, especially, or keeping themselves extra busy to avoid facing, you know, uncomfortable truths about life. Okay, is what I'm sensing here next to the strength card. It's kind of like you're trying to get answers from somebody and uh, they're putting up a wall. And then the King of Swords, which is indicative of communication, is in the reverse position. So there is something someone is not spilling so someone that you're dealing with possibly an air sign uh, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra they're not spilling the beans and it is frustrating to you but I do feel there is a good reason why they're why they are on the defense why they are so walled up why they are so guarded I feel there is a reason for it and I do feel patience is going to be required i feel that the answers will come it's also mercury in retrograde so you're not going to get like um there might be miscommunication between you and another party especially if you both have like come from very different spaces or very different times in your life so there's definitely a values um a, a differences in values in beliefs here so it just jumbles the communication issues so what I am sensing here is, you know, at least wait until June 11th and you're going to get the satisfying answer or the truthful answer that you're looking for. And at the same time, I do sense here that um, this person, that air sign or somebody who's very, very rational, somebody who's very like almost even distant and cold. Um, they are that way because they've been through a lot, okay? So they're putting on a wall and they don't really want anybody, you know, encroaching upon their little bubble. So it's actually, I'm, I'm just sensing here that it is important for you to let things be, for now at least. If this evasive behavior continues on into the future, after Mercury in retrograde, you can demand a straight answer, okay? It is just problematic for this month. And, um, well, let's see what comes out next. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. So it's somebody that you're going to be working in close proximity with is what I'm sensing. Therefore, you need to know what they're about. So they're keeping uh, their mouth shut about a lot of things, which is not jiving well with you on the work front. So it is going to be problematic for you because um, 
you know, you, you want to be very professional and you thrive in a traditional work environment. So because of it, I do sense that um, it's going to be problematic for you, okay, especially if you're dealing with this person on the work front. Um, for those of you who are romantically linked with this person, I do feel there are blockages regarding trust issues, okay? So for, okay, so we have the air sign and we have a fire sign. These are external and um, external to you. You're an earth sign. So what I am sensing here is a lot of you might be debating between possibly two um, romantic suitors. A lot of you might be coupled up with one, longing for the other. Or, you know, coupled up with this air sign longing for the fire sign. They're both in the reverse position. So I do feel when it's going to end. And a lot of you are just like at this point sort of fed up. And instead of like causing a scene, like I mentioned, this is like suppressed communication, okay? Suppressed anger as well. Instead of, you know, having this blowout, okay? You're choosing to quietly walk away because that's what Virgos do. You're choosing to just, you know, cut your losses, quietly slink away into the night and without a lot of fanfare, without, you know, having that blowout fight, without setting the, the balance, like that karmic balance, without even getting answers or closure that you need. You're just going to quietly take off in the middle of the night, okay, is, is the energy that I am sensing here. It is problematic, excuse me, this goes right here. It is problematic because um, we have a karmic block here. So you're kind of like um, putting up with the situation and the other person is not re reciprocating and you're not asking those important questions and you're not like letting your voice be heard and you're trying to like get away, like not get away, but you're trying to like make a... Um, you have an escape plan. You don't want to deal with this anymore because it's a little bit too uncomfortable and you don't want to be confrontational. So you're going to, you know, slither away. There's a karmic block here that is preventing you from making that really nice, clean escape, okay? And the karmic block is here mainly because you have to say your piece. You have to say what's on your mind. You can't be passive about it anymore, okay? So that's what I'm sensing here. If this is a situation that you're dealing with on the work front, um, it is really important for people to know that you're not going to put up with that type of behavior in which you're like shouldering, shouldering the weight of the world and, and you know, you're the only one contributing and other people are just like outside looking in, telling you what to do, but they're not lifting a finger, okay? So this is an apprentice card, but what I'm sensing here is Somebody is doing all the legwork, and the other people are also potentially reaping the benefits, okay? Maybe in greater um, percentage than you are, so it's not fair. Um, at the same time, this karmic block underneath it is, um, as well, for those of you who are thinking about, you know, making, like, headway in new work projects, I do feel that you're, instead of, like, getting that, you know, kind of, like, mid-career type of job that you're aiming for, a lot of you, unfortunately, might have to start from scratch, but I do feel it is going to be more favorable because you're learning a trade that is a little more, I guess, uh, in alignment with your life path is what I'm sensing. And at the same time, these people are giving you very good advice as to how you can build a firm foundation ab around that new endeavor, okay? So it can play out in those two ways, depending on where you are in your current career path, okay? But in general, um, I'm going to pull out two cards, but in general, I do feel that for those of you who are walking away, and um, if this is a relationship that you are walking away from, I do feel that a little bit of... Um, a hiatus is in order for you. So, for example, you've invested a lot in this relationship and, you know, it, it once was very promising. You gave and you gave and the other person did not reciprocate or was not appreciative of your effort. You're walking away and you're hoping for new things. The new thing is not going to start yet, mainly because, first of all, you have to reconcile within yourself more than within the other per more than with the other person, excuse me. So it's kind of like you're kind of passively walking away from it, but you have to really come to terms with it within yourself, why you had to do it that way, 
why you didn't ask those questions, why you didn't demand the closure and the answers that you need, okay? So that process is going to take a few months to heal. In general, I do feel, you know, the three energy, three months, three weeks, it is going to take a little bit of time to heal. Um, so maybe like towards, well, maybe towards the end of um, August, maybe towards the end of August, like a three month period is in the works here. So yeah, the, the karmic block once again, you know, this situation itself, you, you have to deal with it, okay? And you have to also get the answers that you need before you can walk away. And in general, um, this is basically making the right choice. So just know you are on the right path, but sometimes the healing process starts from within. And it is important to get the answers that we want, we deserve, so that we can properly heal and we can properly understand our place in it as well as other people's intentions for us okay so you might have been in a situation where you gave and gave and you don't know why the other person just doesn't cut you some slack doesn't you know reciprocate for you so it's actually really important to understand what the hell they were thinking where they're coming from and why they feel that type of um, you know behavior is okay is acceptable so it's actually important to get those important those answers okay I was going to say it's important to get those important answers but it's important to get those answers for you for your own peace of mind for closure and for emotional peace okay so if you are successful in doing that I do feel this month is not going to be problematic for you it is going to be a little bit difficult to um, get to that point where you are not afraid where you're not timid where you're not afraid to Try those answers out of somebody's mouth or even demand that they answer for their uh, actions, okay? So that's something that I would urge you strongly if you're dealing with this situation in any type of an interpersonal relationship. It is really important to demand answers. You deserve them more than anything. I do feel that this is an ongoing issue. For those of you who are dealing with this energy on the work front, so for example, so you do a lot of work you you know you slave away and you are um, the one that everyone dumps their responsibilities on you're not getting adequate payment out of it it is actually very important to figure out why first of all and then secondly if that's the situation and it is something that's new this is a page energy so it could be something that's new it could also be something that um, is happening time and time and time again you're going to walk away. I do feel that you have to really stand up for yourself, okay? This is standing up for yourself, demanding what's right, claiming your piece of the pie, claiming your financial payout even, or, you know, just especially what I am sensing here is um, claiming your domain, okay? So, like... Um, standing up for yourself mainly but being fair okay the emperor is a is not a tyrant uh, the emperor is actually fair in the reverse position uh, whoever you're dealing with it could potentially be an Aries energy or you know like a, a fire sign earlier I mentioned so um, it's problematic in that you know fire signs are actually very generous but in this situation he or she is not at, operating at their best so it, it's very problematic for you because you do try to accommodate people and you do try to make everyone comfortable and you are very giving. So in this situation, it is uh, important to reassess who you're dealing with, reassess your past history with them and how much they are able to reciprocate for you in life in general is what I'm sensing. So if you can navigate that situation, I do feel that... Um, it's not going to be something that you can walk, um, that you should go back to, okay? So it can be potentially dangerous if you're not careful and you go back to it because it is going to destabilize you financially and emotionally. It is going to be destabilizing. So I do feel for this energy, don't go back to it. You have a new venture here that has a lot of... Um, is going to come to fruition and it has a lot of potential if you are to this is a backward looking energy if you are to sell back to old 
previous situations in love, in romance, in business, in you know financial security, for any of those things, I feel that it is not going to play out in your favor, okay? So it's just important to reassess what it is that you want to do in life and to figure out how you want to proceed with the situation. And in general, um, the middle of the spread is telling me that um, there is a new beginning here, okay? This is moving on. This is like moving on from something that's uh, not easy to walk away from. You've invested a lot of feelings into it. But I do feel that um, the right thing to do is actually to proceed with new energy, okay? So going back to what I mentioned earlier, if there is somebody that you're dealing with, potentially an air sign, if that's something that's in your midst or so that's somebody that's in your midst, and you're n either, one, not getting you know clear answers from them, if this is a romantic interest, um, they're not very forthcoming with information, and I do feel... It is for a reason, okay? So I'm not getting a bad vibe from this because this person is surrounded by rather good cards, okay? So if it's somebody that you're romantically linked with, they have a lot on their plate, first of all. They came from also a place of... Um, they're, they're worn out. They're like really bombarded with a lot of things. They're just, you know, tired. They're tired. And then they have to like go through the motions of trying to accommodate other people. And at the heart of it, they're just really tired. They're, they're worn out, you know. They're, they're just like, um, yeah, they're worn out. So that's why they don't really want to talk about certain things. They might not be forthcoming with information. So it is important for you. The advice very early on in this spread is just, you know, be very patient. Information will come to light if you are dealing with an air sign. Information will have to be extracted if you are dealing with a fire sign, okay? So I hope that makes sense and that puts things into perspective for you. Um, just be aware that, you know, Virgo is ruled by um, the planet Mercury and we have Mercury in retrograde until June 11th. So what I do feel is that um, once the cat's out of the bag, essentially, um, you're going to make a decision what you want to do, okay? Do you want to stay with the old person or the new person? And it could be vice versa. It could be the old person is here, the new person, or new person and old person. So it can work out multiple ways. But what I do feel is that um, you're kind of like pushing, pushing, pushing for new information or, you know, um, yeah, like a direction. And then once the cat's out of the bag, once you have all that information, you're just like, I wish I I had known, you know, because it is potentially damaging to me. So I wish I had known. And then you're going to have to make the tough choice here, okay, to stay or walk away. And um, the cards achieve the future that you want, okay? So in general, it's walking away, moving on. But at the same time, physically, you're able to walk away. But um, physically, emotionally, you're able to walk away. But there are like intangible things such as, you know, assets um, or even like physical property, maybe even kids that you are trying to divvy up. I don't know how these divorces work, but like maybe even kids, maybe like even um, custody issues that you're trying to figure out how to navigate. OK, so um, in general, Virgos, I hope you have a wonderful month regardless of this. You know, either way, I would strongly advise you to be patient, okay? And um, we'll do the weekly readings and we can flush out a lot of this energy. I'm pretty sure this is just, you know, the main things coming in for the month is that the Emperor. You're going to have to, um, timing is going to be a big factor here. So just hang in there, okay? And I do feel this energy is going to alleviate for you. But more than anything, I feel that emotionally and physically you're able to move on but you know there are loose ends there are assets that needs to be divvied up between two parties so you're still kind of entangled but not in a messy way because emotionally you're kind of cutting them off okay so either way really speak up for yourself this month okay and just keep in mind if you're dealing with an air sign information is going to be forthcoming soon like towards the later uh, half of this month if you're dealing with a fire sign, I do feel that these things need to be said and said up front and information needs to be extracted. So that's something to keep in mind. 
when you're dealing with very opposing signs, they're opposing one another, but they're also very opposite from you. So that's something that uh, when air signs withhold information, it's for a good reason. When fire signs, especially reverse fire signs, um, I do feel that because it's going to be um, possibly like um, it might chip away at their reputation. Okay, so that's something that you might want to keep an eye out for. Okay, so know who you're dealing with and know why the information is not um, disclosed. Okay, so either way, have a wonderful June. I will see you back here next week and hopefully we can flush this energy out. If you would like a private reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. And um, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.